class, we're going to learn how to design your home and small urban areas into full productive food zones with food forest companion planting techniques, pollinator and perennial plants, intensive gardening techniques, mandala gardens, keyhole gardens, non-dig gardens, spiral herb gardens, vertical gardens, gardens in pots and pallets, roof gardens, mushroom inoculations in your garden beds, and etc. Making a better use of your space and water and also linking your roofs and roads to your garden areas so you can use the water runoff from them. Working on food, water, and community resilience is lots of fun. Your urban homestead is made up of zones 0 to 5. Zone 0 is your home. Zone 1 is the area you plant things that you need the most and the things you use on a daily basis, such as kitchen herbs, cooking greens, and salad veggies. These things can be grown along the footpaths around your home. Zone 2 is a good place to put small fruit trees, shrubs, and berries. These are the things that need a little less attention than the things in Zone 1. This is also a good place to put chickens and other small birds. Zone 3 is an area for large fruit trees, nut trees, orchards, larger animals like goats and cows. Zone 4, if your property has it, will be where you gather wild foods, store wood piles, and not an area that you maintain. Zone 5 is the completely unmanaged area, an area that you go for inspiration or meditation, but not to manage at all. You let it remain wild. In an urban area, the local park or surrounding area could be considered Zone 5. Now on to water tanks for rainwater collection. Rainwater can be easily diverted from your rooftop to a system that links your rooftop gutters to a water tank. The water can be filtered and used to meet your household needs. Rainwater is the cleanest water today for human consumption. You might be surprised how much rainwater can be collected from the roof of your house. One inch of falling rain on a square foot of roof catches 0.6 gallons of water. So a 2,000 square foot roof could collect 1,200 gallons of water for one inch of rain. Now we'll talk about mandala and keyhole gardens. A keyhole garden is a circular shaped no dig garden system with a keyhole shaped entrance that allows the gardener access to the entire planting area while maximizing space using stepping stones to avoid compacting the soil and never planting broader than your arm span. A mandala garden is an aesthetically pleasing circular shaped garden that can be created by a network of keyhole gardens or other shapes. Patterns can be created with companion plants to create beautiful, productive, and water efficient garden systems. Now to show you how to transform a lawn into an edible garden. The first step is to perform a land assessment. Walk around your property, identifying your shady and sunny spots, your pathways that will collect rainwater, the gutter runoff areas, existing canopy trees, pollinator, and perennial plants. Identify the zones you have within your property and the ones that may extend to your neighbors and surrounding area. The next step is to aerate the soil and cover the entire lawn with a thick layer of manure. The next step is to cover manure layer with a layer of cardboard, leaving no spaces for weeds or grass or other plants to come back up. Then water your entire covered area. Now cover with another layer of manure and a layer of straw, or cover with a thick layer of straw and then inoculate with mycelium. Inoculating your garden bed with mycelium changes the soil chemistry and creates nutrients and water pathways. Now, create a footpath with wood chips around your planting area. Now place your veggie, herb, and shrub starts and then plant them. If you used a second layer of manure with straw, then plant your starts just below the straw layer. 
or plant starts in the soil and manure underneath by forcing through cardboard layer. Now sprinkle the entire area with a nitrogen fixing ground cover seed like clover and water. You have just successfully turned a lawn into a productive food garden. Now, watch your garden grow. When ground space is limited, try planting vertically, in pallets or pots and on rooftops. <laughs>